Hello, this is Cybertron. Today I'm going to talk about how to become an event manager, and it's going to take about like three videos for this. So, the first part is okay, I did this in an event for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. And it teach you how to become like uh, how to become banquet server, banquet bartender, how to work in the kitchen, how to do for this is like a production schedule. Which tells you like, okay, what time to come in, and what time to get out, how to set up for different types of styles like banquet style, buffet style, and so forth. This is like the uniform requirement. So if you're working in the kitchen, get a chef jacket, chef pants, non clothes shoes, and a hat. This is the event for nighttime. Just like next year later. All you gotta do is, uh, okay, there's like a sample of a timeline of like from about uh, from 5 p.m. to about nighttime. Like who should do what and what courses are served and at what time. This is like, okay, this is like. When it's like when it gets to like the fourth course, like after appetizer, two entrees, dessert, and then you just like follow the instructions from there. Yeah, this is just like uh, well, this this is like dining with the chef, and what I gotta do is uh, first like everybody will get the same packet, same information. Yeah, how to greet a table, how to deliver food to a table, clear a table, and the basics. What a banquet server does. Do you want to lean on chairs or tables? Or, uh, this is the benefit script. I like to get like donations to fundraise for dining with the chef, which is not what the chef is talking about. It's invite local restaurant, man, hotel managers. And, bunch of anybody in the hospitality industry for the event and then at the end you collect donations the people who donate the most will get their like a pamphlet with their advertisements and free gifts and stuff like that and the one who donate the most get the uh, better selective wines and food and you'll be placed in the front of the table front of the room and and fall from there from most donation to least donations okay. this is like a typical uh, standard for server prep beverage it's like uniform requirement uh, the only thing they'll provide is the tie will be provided everything else you have to get on your own it is like a sample menu. And the food can always change from like salads and appetizer or also fish. People can order what they want based on in it. It's like okay, there's like sponsors who create the, the students and the chef. Also, this is like you have to create like a menu. It's like everything you learn how to become a restaurant manager. It's a great practice. Teach you how to make a menu, how to pair what with what, and it also details like also what's included in the food. If people are gluten free, lactose intolerant, and so forth. Okay, you also be designing like a restaurant, like table chart or the event room, like what is what, what location goes where. Enter how to exit. Where's the kitchen? Comes in, come out. Auditorium right here. Okay, they come in both from here. Serve through here, and then come out the other way. Okay, right. when you want to serve, you serve from the right. Serve from the left. Clear from the right. That's a basic standard. So, this is like a procedure. It's like we have to set up everything from chairs, tables. And folding napkins. These are instructions. To fold a napkin. 
Let me just like re-throw it right quickly. Okay. This is like what you do if you're hospitality and tourism management in different napkin folding styles. You can see it from different samples. Show you. Okay. This is for like a breakfast event. Same thing. They tell you what you may have and no high heels. Ties will be provided as usual. Hey, this is like a job description. You'll create like job description for each event throughout the uh, throughout the event. So that you have to, it's like for your class grade. So okay. What kind of business is it? What type? Title, job title, the department, for to who? Hours of operation for that event. A summary of what the event is. Leader responsibilities. Which were the knowledge and skills provided that you need? Education requirements. So banquets and any uh, hazardous or work conditions that you do. In your business, this is for Kona Ranch. This is back of the house. So I tell you, like, all the same information. Most of the information will be the same. This is like uh, a little bit more longer. This is a different job description. This is like, okay, you can give you the summary, everything the same. The only thing is, the other greeting part is added bonus, the setup, preset. So what you do want to become a banquet manager. Okay, and it follows from like service to clean up to working conditions. These are like everything you'll see in the job application, like the description. This is like a standard operations procedure, which is like uh, pretty much will tell you each of everything about the event. Like all of the setup, performance, standard, steps of service, beverage, service. When it's like, okay, when dealing with coffee, you have to pour very carefully, do not spill. And also, food service, okay, after the people left, sure, dirty plates are clean. Uh, there'll be like, also like a training manual, but it's very small. These like basic train manuals. This is for breakfast. Breakfast is usually, it could be a buffet format or like place an order. So if it's like buffet format, you set up, done, clear the plates. Wait, well, usually about 10, 15 minutes after they're done eating. It's like the schedule for the whole day from morning all the way to afternoon to about nighttime because nighttime maybe classes. Do the assignments and continue to next day when the events begin. This is mostly takes about two days to prep, pretty much. Usually finish about noon after speaking. Alright, this is the event I did. This is the luncheon. I already created it for the. This is like a training plan. Training plan is a little bit different. You write the performance there, where you, the objective that the staff will learn, training session outline, the training method, date, time, location of the training, and materials required. There for the training, the checkpoint is like, like how everything from beginning to end, like check the food, how the food prepared, check inventory, check you have enough of everything. Also, this is another event I do, same thing. But I'm just the back of the house, just manage the back of the house. It's like standard operating procedure, you have performance standard. Standard procedure, each of these are labeled. Okay, event critique is like uh, review like what went well with the event, what did not go well, what can improve, what did management do, did they right or wrong. There's pretty much like details. Okay. When I was in charge of one event, right? People kept asking me questions for like back of the house, the event, stuff like that. You're supposed to ask your managers, but 
they ask me a lot. That is why I'm willing to critique. Like managers are like managing themselves. And some people like how I manage, so they work with me. Everything will be discussed in the second part. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this with everyone so they know about how to become a restaurant manager or banquet manager. And I hope to see you guys on the next segment. Goodbye.